We're the Bio Nanotechnology Group, um, and we work using novel nanomaterials which we synthesize in the lab and functionalize those with biomolecules that we can synthesize ourselves or we take from nature or we can buy. So we synthesized um, a number of uh, nanoparticles based on iron oxide, um, which are magnetic, and then onto the surface of those nanoparticles we can place uh, pieces of DNA. With that DNA we can attract other pieces of DNA and then using a strong magnet we can pull all those nanoparticles out of solution as a this kind of novel form of separation. The main application which we're working on is biomedical applications, so functionalizing these nanoparticles with interesting biological molecules uh, for use in medicine, pharmacology. See, one of the main problems when you take a medication is unwanted side effects from the drug going all throughout your body. So you can functionalize magnetic nanoparticles with uh, medications and then inject them into the body where they'll travel through your bloodstream and go to every tissue in your organism. But if you apply a magnetic field to a certain part of your body, say your arm, then those magnetic nanoparticles will be attracted to that region of your body and the drug will only have activity there. I'm carrying out um, carbon chromatography um, to purify a compound that is originally part of a natural enzyme called flavin. And we want to attach this flavin at a later stage to an uh, inorganic nanoparticle. We try to functionalize nanoparticles with that flavin compound in order to give it um, novel properties um, to use it at a later stage at, um, as antioxidant or catalyst. The ultimate goal is to create um, novel materials to be used in, um, for example, cancer research or um, as um, medicine for Parkinson's or Alzheimer's disease, so in general, neurodegenerative um, diseases. 